Hello there, Black Blight again. How are you? I hope you're all well and thank you for looking in on me, checking my channel out and for giving me the thumbs up or the thumbs down or subscribing. Thank you very much. Um, big up Robert Cropper as usual, big up SoFlo, big up all my fellow um, people who do more or less the same as me, but we all do it in different ways and we cover different territories, which is great, but we all support each other, so enough respect. Anyway, um, today's um, video is about um, hashtag deported by algorithm. Apparently, the Home Office have a RAG system for algorithms. And what I mean by that, RAG is red, amber, green. Just like the traffic lights. Red means stop, don't let them through, don't let them into our country. Amber means, hmm, we're not quite sure about them. They might be tipping over the edge. They might need a little bit more scrutiny to see if they can come into the country. And then green are the... Yeah, you can go in without too much problems. So, but the red is based on nationality. So I read this thing today. Um, the, A, the artificial intelligence system for granting UK visas is biased. Well, we know that. You know, I've been saying it for a while. Um, so right groups claim, right? Group claim. I don't know what rights they are. Anyway, you will. Uh, <laughs> uh, immigrant rights campaigners have brought a legal challenge to the Home Office about how the algorithm filters UK visa applications. So, what it's doing is filtering it so they don't get through. It's a bit like the American system are doing something like that as well. Foxglove, a new advocacy group promoting justice in the new technology sector, is supporting the case brought by the Joint Council for the Welfare of Immigrants, in brackets JCWI, to legally force the Home Office to explain on what basis the algorithm streams visa applicants. I, they know, but I think they're looking for evidence because obviously something's been brought up that's alerted them, and now they're investigating a little further. But we know there's bias in these systems. The same way there's bias in the cameras. Ah, oh, there's bias everywhere. Anyway, the Home Office insists its visa streaming algorithm has no racial bias. We're told the system uses a nationality to stream applicants green, yellow, and red. Well, that in itself is a bias if, you're, if it's filtering it based on nationality. So which nationalities are allowed in? Does that mean if you're from, um, does it mean if you're from Jamaica or from Africa? Because remember those Africans that weren't allowed in and they were here on a conference. They weren't even coming here on a visitor's visa. They didn't even want to stay. They were just coming to do a conference and leave. And they'd been paid for the conference. And yet, because of this system, it did not allow them in. Their visa, their applications weren't approved. So, I don't know. But people from Canada, Australia, they can waltz in. They can have all, they can have all the criminal records in the world. But they can waltz in because they're green. That's a bit extreme. But it's more or less like that. It can't help, I can't help feeling that way. So on here it says, and it's easy to guess who ends up on the green queue and who gets pushed to the back of the bus in red. Green could mean a speedy application for white people. And that is unlawful. This is what Foxglove is saying. It is pre-action legal letter this month to the Home Office Secretary Priti Patel, the Joint Council for the welfare of immigrants argue that the streaming process will affect the final decision on visas. The case is being backed by the GoFundMe.com page titled Deported by Algorithm. Its letter to the Home Secretary states, an individual visa applicant 
allocated by the streaming tool to the red category because of their nationality might still be granted a visa. However, their prospects of a successful application are much lower than the prospect of an otherwise equivalent individual with a different nationality allocated to the green category. To similar effect, the same red application is likely to take much longer than the green one, again involving less favourable treatment of the applicant because of their nationality. The JCWI argues that the use of the streaming tool is more modern version of a visa entry system ruled unlawful by the House of Lords in 2005. It concerned Roma applicants who were said to have been treated with more suspicion and subjected to more intent and intrusive questioning than non-Roma applicants. The Lords concluded that the stereotyping of Roma as being less likely to be genuine visitors to the UK was unlawful. The Home Office has emphasised that the new system is fully compliant with the Equalities Act 2010. It added that out of more than 3.3 million visa applications to the UK by the end of June this year, 2.9 million were given an entry to Britain. Yeah, right. That's all for now. Bye-bye.